last week, won't hurt you. No, no, Sopio, you must be good. Oh, but I am good. You can ask any of the fellas round here. <laughs> Sopia, Sopia, please. Leave him alone, the young master. I know where, I know where he hasn't been. Please. Now, find your straws and get out. I've still got them on. No. <laughs> straws, not drawers. <laughs> oh, she's common. She really is. Oh, you mean no straws? Yes, Mary. straws. Yes, now come on then. Here are. You having another raffle? Having a what? Another raffle. Yes, and this time you aren't the prize, so don't bother. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh dear, poor soul. <laughs> what a way to have to carry around all day. <laughs> Might as well come to that. Um, yes. Oh, these are seething hot. She must have been lying on them. <laughs> lying on These are seething hot. She must have been lying on them. <laughs> I don't understand her, Lurkio. She's such a strange girl. Yeah, she is strange, all right. Yeah. I've always had this feeling that she wanted something from me. Oh, really? Oh! <laughs> yes. And then this Well, I've got a feeling if I didn't come in when I did, she'd have got it. <laughs> Then this morning, I suddenly realised what it was that she wanted. Oh, ah, yes. So I came straight to her room. Did you? And did you give it to her? Yes. I put it under the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ode. An, an ode? Oh, we might have known. I it's wrote an, it this morning. Did you? An ode. Oh, an ode. An ode to Sopia. Such a pretty name. I knew not what she wanted of me. Till I thought this morn, I thunk up. <laughs> get ready, get ready. Tis clear that all she really wants is a pure and simple friendship. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. No. I just thought of one. Now, that's enough. <laughs> Let's go before the phone calls start coming in. Go with it. 